In this video, I am going to show you how you can install Comfy UI in Windows. Comfy UI is a node based GUI or graphical user interface for stable diffusion. You can construct an image generation workflow by chaining different nodes together. Comfy UI is very fast to run, it's quite configurable, and the data flow is right in front of you. Also, each file in Comfy UI is reproducible workflow. Prototyping with a graphic interface with Comfy UI makes it a breeze to use. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to install 7-zip because that is what would be needed to unzip the uh, Comfy UI. So let me first install 7-zip. I'm already logged into my Windows laptop and it is in front of you. So let me first go to 7-zip's website and this is the exe file which I need to download and you can see on the right hand side. Download it. Let's open the file. Click on install and it's already installed which is correct. Now we need to do download the Comfy UI and don't worry about these links. I'm going to share these links in video's description. This is the direct link from where you can download it and you can see that the extension is 7z of 7zip. So let's wait for it to come. It's almost done. And the size is pretty big, 1.54 gig, and I'm installing it manually. And I would suggest that if you're installing it on your Windows laptop or even in cloud, use the uh, standalone zip file to download it. It's almost done, just consolidating, that is cool. Let me open the folder where it has downloaded it. So this is our folder. Now, right click on it and then 7-zip, just say extract here. Let's wait for the extract to finish. And it takes a bit of a time, so you would have to wait a bit for it is quite a big file. So let's wait for it to finish. Extract is done. Now, after the extraction, you will see a folder with the name Comfy UI Windows Portable, as you can see on your screen. Double click on it. And then there you have your Comfy UI. Now we need to put a checkpoint model first in order to start using this Comfy UI. A checkpoint model in Stable Diffusion is a pre-trained Stable Diffusion weight model for generating a particular style of image. What kind of images a model generates depend upon the training images. A model won't be able to generate a cat's image, for example, if there is never a cat in the training data. So that is primarily the checkpoint model is. So in order to do that, go to this Comfy UI Windows Portable, then again into Comfy UI, and here go to the models. And this is where we need to put our model in. Now, in order to download the model, uh, let's say you have the model url for example i want to download dream shaper 8 so this is the model just put the link here in the browser it is asking it hasn't it has started downloading it is 2 gig of data so let's wait for it to download and then once it's downloaded i will move it to my models folder and then you can use any other model for that too and i will Yet another video on it where I'll be using another model. And I just noticed that um, maybe the display is a bit faded because I'm having some issues with my driver. But still, I believe that you can make out what exactly is being shown. And you can't, please put it in the comments and I'll try to describe it. Okay, so it is going well. So let us, let's wait for it to finish. So the model has been downloaded. Now, Click here and then this is where it downloaded the tensor file. So just maybe cut it from here. Then let's go back to our that model folder. Here you will see a checkpoints folder. So just click on it and then put check, just paste it here. So that's done. Beautiful. Now let's go back to our um, Compute UI Windows Portable folder and then uh, 
is a right click or double click on this nvidia gpu because my laptop has nvidia gpu so it is running let's wait for it to finish and if you don't have gpu don't worry just click on cpu it will run but it will take long time so there you go so we have our uh, you can see that we have over this uh, config ui running and you can see the workflows here if you look into the browser it has opened this comfy ui on your local system on the um, default host now let's let me give you a very quick overview of comfy ui so you see that we have this load checkpoint on the left and then uh, clip text and code clip test and code prompt and these boxes these boxes are called as node and this is whole this collection of node is called as workflow which are connected through edges which are these wire sort of things in different colors now this is a whole workflow of text to image production now within each node we have three things we have input input is these yellow dots and text clip clip and yellow dot output is this on the right hand side the dots are called as output and in between the things are called as parameter you can also just click on it grab it and move it across to see it more clearly as you can see i'm moving it so fairly easy so this is the whole idea behind this comfy ui that you can build a workflow with the help of nodes and every node has input output and parameters now we have the basic idea of what comfy ui is now let's check where where the model is so if you look at the very left hand side node load checkpoint you will see that the model which we had placed in that checkpoint folder dream shaper 8 is already there if you have multiple models in that folder simply click on this and you would be able to select multiple models but it is already there and it is connected to this encoder uh, clip text encode and clip text encode in the top node we have the positive prompt and then in the lower node we have the negative prompt um, so these two nodes which are labeled clip text and code prompt they are for our prompting and if you see that the top prompt is connected to our case sampler let me just make it like this so you can see that this one is connected to case sampler case sampler is primarily the engine which converts the text into image with different parameters as you can see here seed steps and all that stuff the bottom one and i'll drag it down a bit the bottom one is for negative prompt and it is only connected to this latent image with different parameters and you can control the weights of it easily by just replacing the value okay so and then case sampler is done and then it took, decodes it and generates image at the very right on the basis of the prompt which you gave here now in order to run it all you need to do is to click in this click on this queue prompt and it will start so you see this is the green on the left hand side it is going to the text now it is going to the case sampler and case sampler will process our text to create the image and if you look in the keep looking at this case sampler and you will see a green progress bar starting so let's wait for it to come there you go you see that the green bar has started and if you if i show you the screen the where we started it the terminal one it is showing 10 percent is done so you can just monitor it side by side and it will show you what exactly it is doing if any error you will also see them here and depends upon your gpu and your system how much fast it goes so let's wait for it to finish so as you can see that it was done and it took around 259.65 seconds in terminal and look at this i let me remove this it has finished it has generated this beautiful image on the basis of our text prompt and the prompt was beautiful scenery nature glass bottle landscape purple galaxy bottle and look at the quality of this image how cool is that so we have loaded this model dream shaper installed it and then we have run it uh, i believe that this is great and uh, <clears throat> you can just give it any prompt and then it will generate the image for you locally on your windows system with this stable diffusion model i hope that you enjoyed it if you are stuck if you are facing any issues please feel free to let me know in the comments and of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you very much.